I'm at it again with the uh, International R200. Last time I ran it, these shutters in the front um, open and close, and they were closed and caused it to overheat. So I gotta get some cooling in it and fire it up. It's an International six cylinder. I'm not sure of the displacement. True dual exhaust, a weird four barrel carburetor. Um, this is 1956 uh, belt driven air compressor currently running on a one gallon jug. So fuel economy is about 10 minutes for a gallon of gas. So yeah, it's bad. All right, I'm gonna get it going and see if we can't get that truck put where I want it. Couple things before I start this up. Cause I'm not sure how well you'll be able to hear me. This is got an interesting PTO since it's a direct drive winch. Forward is one direction and backwards is another direction. So you can w release the tension on the winch. And the shifting pattern is unique. Hopefully you never, never see another one like it because it's stupid. One, two, three, four, five, and reverse is over here. Yeah. Let's see if it's gonna start. Some of you that pay really close attention may notice that the oil pressure gauge doesn't really seem to move a lot but if you look really closely it does move just not a lot but you know you don't need that
couple other interesting things on this truck is like the bumpers they doubled up and this from what i understand was this equipment dealership's main truck that they used to bring the new trucks in or go get broken down trucks but as i pointed out it doesn't run a lot of oil pressure i don't know if you can see but this oil pan has been fabricated like a giant oil pan to hold a lot more oil i assume because it was the oil was overheating um And this whole rear wrecker body, like these, it's all like custom fabricated battery boxes, chain boxes, um, the fenders unpinned so they could put, they'd flip, they can flip up so you can put tire chains on. This rear bumper is made out of three truck bumpers stacked on top of each other. This whole wrecker, wrecker assembly, um, pins on a pin there a pin there and then one pin that goes all the way across um right here and then the fifth wheel is underneath so when they were camelback or whatever you call it when they bring the new trucks from from the dealer or to the dealership um yeah I'm trying to think of anything else that i've seen that's kind of unique so from what I understand, I mean, this this tractor dealership, truck and tractor dealership, um, bought this truck new in 1956 and used it up until they closed. 